animated. Um, basically, it's a 3D LED cube. Um, how we're controlling it is we have our we have a PXI system in this enclosure right here, and basically we have five switch cards controlling the entire LED cube. Um, on the bottom we have our 2533s um, set up as a 4x64 topology, and then we also on the side have our 2512 false insertion unit switches. So basically how the LED works is each column is going to be the positive for the LEDs itself, and then each layer itself will be connected to a ground. So how we make the calls in LabVIEW, um, we're either going to use our DACMX driver or we're going to use Switch Executive. And basically, you call one plane and then you call a column and it will light up that LED. And then you scan as fast as you can through there and it will actually display an image like you can see here. So as a demonstration, I can show you some of the different images that we have. Uh, so we, here we have kind of a parachute, kind of sine wave looking thing. And then as you saw before on the last screen, it's more of a heartbeat pattern. We actually have the reverse of that as well. Um, it's just a pulsing, pulsing pattern again. We also have a sideways sine wave that you can see. It's very graphic intensive, so it kind of gives you an idea of it scanning that fast. That's why it's flickering a little bit while it's scanning. And to kind of give you an idea of how it's scanning, how it looks like, is this is it basically speed up. The switches are switching around four milliseconds because it's software time. But if we slow that down, get about 80 milliseconds, you can actually see it switching through each individual LED and then going each individual layer as well. So once you speed that back up again, you'll actually see the image in whole. So one of the other cool things we have is uh, text. And it, you can type out anything that you want in the string and it will display it in the cube. So if we, right now we have NIOX fitting since we are NIOX 2012. You can actually see the letters shooting out. Um, one of the coolest things that we implemented in this design is we developed 3D Snake. Um, so you give you a quick demo with that. Um, we actually we have it controlled to the keyboard and the joystick. Uh, for ease for me, I, I'll just show it on the keyboard real fast. You just the objective is basically to try to find the apple, eat it. You'll grow larger once you get the apple. Uh, if you hit a wall or double back on yourself, the game is over. And you can see it. I hit the wall right there, so the game is over.